going on again today guys another beautiful day to ride to work it's uh yeah temperature's cool but not too cool another nice day figured what the hell take the uh, crf Work. I gotta come up with a nickname for the, the CRF. Nothing. I don't even know what the hell you would nickname for this thing. But call it the CRF. It's, uh, it's a lot shittier than calling it the Ruckus, or you know. But I guess everybody kind of just does that. I know Rex calls his DRZ the DRZ. I guess nicknames aren't a thing with these bikes. No clue, no clue at all. I I gotta wash this face mask. There's a visor. It's got, uh, it's got bug splatters all over. It's one thing I never understood, man. People that can ride uh, bikes on the highway, even in the city, with just half helmets. I mean, I used to do it when I was on the, the ruckus, just if it was a beautiful day and you didn't, you were just going to the store, or you were just going down to the waterfront. But these guys that ride highway bikes and cruisers and Harleys and shit on uh, like the 401 and the Highway 11 and all that and they're wearing they're wearing uh, beanie caps man it's it's nuts seen seen some pictures of people that have impacted without a full face helmet on and it's not pretty it pretty much rearranges your whole face and it's not even the well, for me, it's a safety factor, you know, because you got some some protection there. If you hit something too hard, I'm sure that would break. But it, like, it's meant to, it's designed to take impact, so it's better than your jaw. I'll tell you that. It's better than your nose and your jaw. I know it's harder than that. Although some people's heads are probably harder than it, but that's another story altogether. Um, yeah. But, like, just the bugs. I, I went to Troke Creek once, and I was only on, you know, on the 80 kilometer an hour highways. And, uh, and I got a dragonfly stuck right in the top vent. I'll put up a picture right now of it. And what happened was the dragonfly flew in to the vent, I guess, because they were everywhere. I was taking them off the, 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 I was wearing a jacket, always wear a jacket. They were hitting me, peppering me, and I mean, they hurt even with a jacket on. Those, they were big, so we're not talking these little cute things. We're talking fucking dragonflies. And I eventually just had to, like, I like my face shield open on a nice day, so I was riding like, but eventually I had to close it because I was getting bugs on my, you know, everywhere, and, and then of course they were plinking off, and it was uh, it was a comical thing. But like without a full face, you're just open to all that stuff. It's it's kind of crazy to take one of those in the head, that or a June bug or a bee. So to ride with a beanie helmet, and we're talking the half helmets, you know, you know what I'm talking about. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Especially if you're at a high rate of speed, like you do one little mistake and you're you're done. You're done. That's all there is to it. It's not going to protect your head. It doesn't surround your head. You know, it leaves the back of your head open. It leaves the front of your face open. It leaves your ears open. It leaves everything open. It protects the top part, and the top part is the hardest part of your head. You know. It's the top and the, like the forehead. I, I'm sure those are the hardest parts of your head. The back of your head, I know you don't want to get hit. And your ears or your temples, you know, that's, that's all soft stuff there, holes in it. And 
right, this doesn't make any sense. Well, it is what it is, man. It's your choice to ride with it, and it's your choice not to ride with it, so. But, for the comfort factor, you can't protect your face without a full face. From the wind and the bugs and the, the cold weather. But yeah, the bugs are nasty around here in the summertime and I'm sure they are in other places as well. But, we do what we do, I guess. It wouldn't take very, very many bugs plinking off your eyes to get you know, for you to, to change, or at least put some safety goggles on or something. But I guess there's a cool factor to it that I'm not, uh, I'm not privy to. That and you can't, you know, motovlog. <laughs> so you got no uh, mic in your face. I'm sure they make directional mics that would work for it, but... Definitely wouldn't be as clean as doing it with a full face on. Some slow ass individuals. And of course we got the light again. As always. with this light. You never get a green. This guy's picking his nose in the car. He's digging right in. Now he's looking at it. Oh my god, he just ate it. He just ate his booger. Oh my god. Oh, he's really digging in and he's eating it. Oh my god. Oh, he ate it again. That's fucked right up. That is the most fucked up thing I've ever seen. A grown ass adult. Oh, he's eating it. Oh, my God. Yeah, I see you. Oh, and he's digging again. I'm going to have to see if I can zoom this out. That is so gross. Oh, my God. That's fucked right up. I hope that zooms in just fine. That's good times. Oh, I'm good. I want to be sick. How the hell do you do that? Oh, he's doing it again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's like a train wreck. I gotta, I gotta watch it, but I can't. I'll just try to keep the video on still so I can zoom and crop that out. You see him right in his mirror, eating her. Oh. <laughs> That's fucked up. Oh, he's going back for more. Oh. He stopped chewing on her. Oh, fuck, that was gross. That was fucked right up, man. He's like 19, 20 years old. Chomping on his burgers. Oh. Kids are 10 and 12 and they don't do that shit. Teach them that from a young age. I mean, everybody does it when they're young. But you don't do it when you're older. 20 years old. That's fucked straight up. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, they're just fucking digging down. The shit you see when you motovlog. The shit that you see. Anyway, on that disgusting note, I will talk to you guys later. Struggles out!